Hi guys, Luton here, and uh, back with Cutting Room. Now, this is a really, really good and frustrating thing at the same time. It's good because I've finally managed to figure out what it was that was causing the sync problems with my livecom videos, which is great news because it means now I can finally, finally produce good content stuff without having the damn irritating issue of the sync. It was only ever like a small fraction, like 0.5 a second or something like that, it's, but it's enough to just get under your skin. It gets under mine, and I know it must get under people that watch the videos as well. It's actually an unbelievably simple thing, as always is the case with these kind of things. It's never something super complicated. It's always like right in front of you, but you just don't know it. What it comes down to is with the Elgato, if you go into the settings, and I cannot believe it's this simple, I swear to God, it's literally a case of keeping checked that preserve source format button. And what that does, if you actually read on the Elgato page, what it does is it means that the Elgato will try and match the sort of output of the game as closely as possible. It'll match the frame rate and so on and so on, the resolution of the game if you've got different you know, games. Some games, older games, will display in lower, newer ones in higher to 1080, etc. So anyway, the preserve source format, that's what's causing the sync problem, and it's why it happens on some games and not others. It's why it tends to happen more on Far Cry, but it happens less with, for example, my... Um, you know, Super Hang On series because they they are different formats. They have a slightly different. The uh, Super Hang On has a much higher frame rate and so on, so it doesn't kind of notice so much. Anyway, so for that reason, uh, that's all it is. It's a case of checking that box, and then what it will do is it will force the Elgato to kind of match the format, which means that when you speak, it should be perfectly in sync. I say should be. Um, I've only done a small couple of tests. It seems legit so far, um, but you know as we go along maybe we'll encounter a problem I don't know but for now this seems to be sorted out which is good news what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a clip of the problem and I'm going to show you a clip of you know my solution footage where it shows how it's perfectly in sync and all it is is me with a gun in Far Cry just saying words in time to the firing well as I pull the trigger I am saying the words, okay, I made it sure that I did it 100% in sync, so as I said the word, I was depressing the trigger, making sure that the bullet, you know, was firing at the same time. So that's a, all there is to it, you've seen already the little clip of the box to check, so it's as simple as that, problem solved. Uh, hopefully this will help some people out if they do see this video, uh, who are having the same issue, it's literally a case of just checking that box and you should be good to go, and uh, hopefully I've explained it well enough as well. Um, any questions or whatever, put them in below. Uh, if you have any ideas for other cutting room things, I know there's tons and tons of stuff to do with cutting room uh, that I can do, but um, for now, anyway, today, this is this is today's episode. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you next time for more cutting room. Be sure to drop a little like if you enjoyed the video, and uh, see you next time. One. One. One, one, one. Three, two, one, bang. Bang, bang. Three, two, one, bang.